In this lesson, I want to give an overview of the Solidra's uh, extension here. Uh, so one of the things you want to do is you want to go to options. And before we start working on the site and start doing different things, it's a, it's a good idea for you just to kind of uh, change some of the settings to how you want them to be. So when you go right now to the default gallery, just leave that. And then here you have the date format. So you can choose how you want the date to be formatted on the front end of the website. So I'll choose that. And then you want to enable availability calendar so people can be able to see what's available, of course. Now I want to say that the default settings here should work for most people, but if you want to do something you know additional, then of course you can change this, you know, as you need to. So when you change the when you enable this here, it gives you the option to choose how things are set up. And you can kind of go through this here to, you know. And it's pretty much self-explanatory. Do you want to show power by Solidris? Then you can choose yes or no. And then show price with tax. And when do you want the week to start? Sunday or Monday? And then default reservation status, pending arrival. You click the drop down there and you see different options. And you go to partner user groups. Uh, then you can be able to choose there, which I'll, I'll probably cover that later on. But for right now, just lift that as it is. And then do you want to en enable the multilingual mode, discount pre-tax? So you go through this here to choose uh, what you want to, to be on the front end. And then there's the t uh, tariff here. This is where you can be able to set pricing, you know, for the week, uh, from Monday through Sunday. So just leave those default settings there. For the currency, right now it's set to, um, it's not set to anything. We're going to work on that later. Uh, and then you have the currency format. And then the permissions here, you go to invoice and you scroll down, you, you kind of get to choose some different options here. And by the way, these are just the default settings, so you don't really have to change anything. I just want to go through those with you. And then there's the hub. So if you don't have this uh, plugin installed, you don't have to worry about this. Uh, and then of course, feedbacks, this uh, the feedback. So let's go back here to the main part so I can kind of go over some of the things here. So this the ass, uh, list assets category. So this pretty much just per, like the person uh, that's part, like for example, uh, this is where you can list your, the owner's name or the hotel's name. So when you go to list assets, which we're gonna, you know, I'll show you how to do that later. And then uh, the category, so you can list different assets, you can list different, uh, like list like, like the Hilton. So the name of asset can be like the Hilton and then all the, uh, on the list assets, you can put the Hilton and New York, the Hilton and whatever state, city, or any part of the world. So if you have a hotel, if you have, you know, multiple hotels or motels or rental properties, then you can be able to put in the name of your company as the list assets categories. Or if you partner with other people, you want other people to be able to, you know, have their properties shown, their hotel shown on the site, you can put you know, their name here, you can create the list asset category. So when you go to the list asset, that's when you start to create uh, the different hotel locations that you have. And then you can choose the room type and you can also create coupons. So people can be able to redeem coupons, um, some extras here. And they have to list currencies, install sample data, uh, employees, limit booking. So we're gonna go through all that later when we start to create uh, this, you know, the start adding things here. But just wanted to give you a real, you know, overview so you can kind of see how, you know, the system works and the flexibility that it has. You know, once again, if you want additional uh, functionalities, then you want to definitely purchase the more advanced package because that gives you a whole lot more uh, than what the free one does. But the free one gives you enough to get started. And then you can see if this is something that is going to work for your company or for your business. And if it is, then you can you can invest in a uh, different package for it. Okay, let's move on to the next lesson.